You guys are amazing. Uh, what an incredible summer it's been, you guys. I, um, I actually made a very big decision at the beginning of this summer. I decided to grow my hair out. Okay. And I fully expected that by the time I got on stage here in August, I'd kind of look like a hot chick from the 90s. You know what I mean? I wanted my Sharon Stone era. I wanted my Meg Ryan era. But I don't know what the fuck is going on here, you guys. <laughs> I kind of look like the dude who harassed the chicks in the 90s right now, you know? <laughs> I look like Johnny Bravo. <laughs> it's fine. I turned 35 recently. Oh my goodness, I know, thank you, thank you. It's fine, you know? Sometimes I just don't know where to go. <laughs> I wanted to go to a physical clothing store the other day and I was like, I guess I'll go back to Forever 21. That's how they marketed it to me, Forever 21, right? <laughs> so I went there, and it was fine. I was like, it's fine. Nobody cares. Nobody knows. But the 18-year-olds who work at Forever 21, they fucking know, okay? They spotted me from across the room, and they called for backup. They were like, mm-hmm, we have a code my space. She's wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> Let me get a closer look. Mm, she has a working memory of 9-11 for sure. <laughs> yeah, yes. As I get older, I, I do feel like um, I have older person thoughts. You know, the other day I, I thought to myself, social media is ruining everything. <laughs> And I do believe that to be true because social media most recently has ruined my 20 year relationship with Halle Berry. I just miss the good old days when I didn't have to listen to Halle Berry talk constantly about having bad gas. And if you don't know, Halle Berry is selling a supplement on Instagram for digestion. Which I'm fine with, that's great, but you have to understand, Halle Berry's been on my vision board for 20 years because she inspires me to work out, to eat healthy, and now I look at my vision board and I'm like, well, maybe I should just take a shit. <laughs> it's like the difference between seeing Halle Berry and James Bond and you know, she's in the ocean and she's coming out and she's just hot, and this is like, Halle Berry coming out of a dirty beach bathroom and she's kind of sweaty and she's holding her stomach and she's like, ladies, that was a good one. That one burned. It's different. Uh, I am from somewhere in Texas. I'm from uh, a tiny town that you will have never heard of, but my family there kind of has a legacy, you guys, um, specifically my dad. My dad is kind of like a knight in shining armor in my small town. Tall, handsome, slayed a ton of pussy. <laughs> not mine. Sometimes people think this is about something else. I said Texas, not Alabama. It's not like that. <laughs> but I do know that my dad's dick was so good that the women, I know, that the women he slept with waited until he died to tell us they had his babies. So at his funeral, I wasn't mourning my dad. I was Maury Povic. <laughs> Every time a kid walked up to the casket with their mother, I looked at my mother and said, oh, he is definitely the father. <laughs> I found out I have eight siblings, all different mothers. Whoops, yeah, that was weird. Um, you know what, my siblings and I, what were we gonna do, right, we're kids. So we made the best of it, we bonded over it. Uh, we have a great relationship. We actually just recently, um, we bought a piece of property right next to the lake where our dad got our moms pregnant. <laughs> and um, we dedicated it to him. And so every time you go there, there's a nice little archway and it just reads, welcome to Fuckboys Island. <laughs> I tell, my, uh, I tell my friends that story and they're like, oh my God, is your mom bummed that your dad cheated on her all? Yeah, she was definitely bummed, you guys. But not as bummed as his wife. <laughs> I'm TK Lawlings, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>